cluster has multiple nodes and slices where the data is distributed. When the query is executed, the query execution plan determines what data blocks need to be located to best run the query. Then the data is physically moved or redistributed and it all happens in parallel to the execution of the query. Redistribution might involve either sending specific rows to nodes for joining or broadcasting an entire table to all of the nodes. When you load the data into Redshift, it distributes the data rows to the compute nodes and its slices. The distribution of the data depends on the distribution style we choose while creating the table. The data distribution has two goals. Distribute the workload uniformly among the nodes in the cluster and to minimize data movement as the query runs. If either of this is skewed, our query performance can go wrong. By choosing the best distribution style, including the key, we can balance the data distribution and significantly improve overall system performance. We will be discussing more about the distribution keys in one of the later sections. Another major consideration while distributing the data is the data sorting. And this is achieved through the sort keys. Sort keys are used to scan the data efficiently and applicable for the queries which involve the range restricted predicates. For instance, if I request a list of users whose name start with R and if the data is not sorted, I need to go through all the data blocks which are 1 MB in size with redshift and pick the ones starting with R. As the name starting with R could be present in any block, most probably you need to scan the whole data set for this. On the other side, if the data is sorted, we can have the metadata with each data block telling the minimum and the maximum values. This can help the data scanners which can skip the blocks and jump to the blocks with the R directly. Read all the names starting with it and return back much faster. Sort keys can help in defining the order of data sorted in the cluster. We can define this at the time of creating the table. It comes in two forms, interleaved and compound. Compound being the default. In interleaved, columns are sorted independently. Whereas in compound, each of the columns are sorted in the order, which means they have a reference of their previous column and structured like a pyramid. Compound is the default type. This can speed up the joins, group by, order by queries, and also the compression of data. This is useful, especially where the predicates come with a prefix. But the query performance can be degraded if the primary column is not used as a predicate. On the other hand, interleaved key give equal weight to each column. They are good for the queries using different column at different point of time. An interleaved sort is more effective with large tables, which require multiple 1 MB blocks per slice. It does not make sense to use interleaved on monotonically increasing columns, such as with date, timestamp types, or the identity column. 